Hey guys, welcome to another Java knowledge sharing session. In this video, we will see what is static keyword in Java. The static keyword is a non-access modifier in Java that is applicable for blocks, variables, methods, and classes. Static is used to share the same variable or method of a given class across all the objects. That means if I declare this variable as static then only a single copy of this variable will be available to all the objects for this specific class it can be accessed before any objects of its class are created and without reference to any objects so in the first example we will see what are static blocks static variables static blocks are like if you need to do some computation in order to initialize your static variables you can declare a static block that will be executed only once when the class is first loaded by jvm and static variables are uh, when a variable is declared as static then a single copy of the variable is declared and shared among all the objects as we discussed earlier then that is uh, at the class level static variables are essentially you can say global variable of that class all instances of the class share the same static variable now in this example uh, i have declared one static variable how to declare a static variable is you have to use keyword static then type of that variable and name of that variable so and i have also declared one non-static variable to show demonstrate one of the thing uh, and i have defined a static block here how to define a static block that is very simple use static keyword and after that curly braces and whatever code you want to execute during the class load you can write it inside the uh, static blocks so uh, here one thing to be noted that static blocks they can only access the static variables so if i want to change or initialize the value of a static variable that i will be able to do but if i try to uh, access the non-static variable the compiler will give me an error you can see uh, here itself compiler is giving me error that cannot make a static reference to non-static field because non-static variable is a non-static uh, field so it cannot be accessed through a static block so now we have we are ready with the static block and static variable how we can access it uh, outside the class so the basic syntax for accessing static method or variable is using class name dot variable name or class name dot method name so here we are uh, first taking the example of static variable so we will be accessing it with static block and variable example which is the class name dot static variable so static variable is nothing but the name of the variable so if i run i will be able to see two entries in the console first is static block is called and then value 10 is printed why because uh, here we are uh, trying to print the value of static variable in the main class itself so 10 is printed and you can see just before that itself when jvm started when we start this specific program and jvm loaded this specific class to uh, the memory it has already executed this static block due to which you are able to see this static block called statement inside the console next is static methods when a method is declared with a static keyword it is known as static method the most common example of static method is our main method that we have uh, which is the entry point of any java program they can only directly call other static methods and also they can only directly access the static uh, data like static variables they will not be able to access the non-static components so here i have declared one uh, static method say hi which is static and it is accepting one argument and in the console it will print hi and whatever string that will be passing to this specific method so in the main class you can see i am calling the static method in the similar fashion by using class name dot method name and by passing the string which uh, this uh, specific method is expecting so if i run this program you can see hi and uh, the string which i have passed is already printed on the console and the last type of static component is static classes a class can be made static only if it is a nested class like if we have this top level class i cannot declare it static if i try to declare this top level class as static you can see it will give me a illegal modifier exception 
so here i have one static variable which is a channel name and i have one uh, nested static class which is having a method display which is printing the uh, base class channel name uh, variable value and this concept is very much uh, similar to the nested classes or the inner classes for more details on inner classes please check uh, the playlist available uh, on my channel i have covered the inner classes section in two videos and now this is how we will be calling uh, the display method of that nested uh, static class i will run this program and we'll see the output so we can see aman text zone this is printed why because in this uh, display method of nested class we have uh, printed the channel name to the console so these were the four types of component which we can declare uh, static in java so the question arises is when to use static variables and methods uh, use of static variable for the property that is common for all the objects so for example in a class employee if all employees share the same company name then we can declare that company name as static so in that way it will uh, only occupy a single memory space in the memory and not with each and every object of employee it will not create a, a new object or it will not allocate new memory for the company name and it will be shared across all the objects the main use of static method is updating or changing the values of static variables or calling the other static methods that's it for this video if you like the content please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates thanks for watching see you next